How's it going, dudes? And welcome back to L Pokemon Legends Arceus. And today we are going to so help Clevor. Pikachu. Okay, I'm satisfied. Alright, I made it back. Leon. So you say he, you galaxy people came out with a message droid calling Lord Clover's frenzy? What? You'll mash up Clover's favorite foods into balls? So you can throw offerings at him? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inter inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from safe a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid. If it means you might provide Clover with his offering, let's begin at once. Oh, hold on, Lian. Don't get ahead of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Clover's favorite plump beans. I've never brought. I've brought them, as promised. Ah, uh, that's right. My apologies, Ira. I've forgotten all about you. And I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have a little choice but to turn our team galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These Gangs team people don't share our customs or our values. The pro uh, Pokemon battle. Glacian, yes, I will. I will melt it. My bad, wrong one. I will knock you into a puddle. I'm almost one hit, hey. Well, that's not gonna melting you into a puddle is not gonna work. Um I just really want to do it with Cyndaquil. And look, and if Lexi has to suffer for it, so be it. All right, Cyndaquil. Do the strong style again. I said I was gonna melt it, so I melted it. Yeah, move master, and that's it. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. 
I feel better putting my trust in you, in you now. I think... Let me see your Pokemon's wounds. Thank you. Now explain the team, Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? And we explain it again. So because you ha have to keep your distance, you'll mash Clever's favorite foods together, ball them up, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We already explained it. Can we just get to it? Those don't seem like balls. There, a veritable mountain of mountain of bombs. This should please cover if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty clever Lord of the Woods. I'm ready. As I am. I mean, as am I. Oh, my Glavor, Lord of Woods. Oh, it isn't yet time of ceremony. We've prepared an offering for your favorite things. We have a Lord who works his mighty between. Heaven and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Asian. Keep yourself focused on Clevor. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as he throws the bombs. So keep my finger on. On the Y button. Did her chest just jiggle? Or was that just me? And now I see why it's called Clever. Clever. Got cleavers for hands. I ran right into that. <laughs> so I could actually fight him. Ow. Not the best idea. Probably should have trained a little. Blech. Swift again. Ow. Um. Okay, Staravia. That was you. You might have an edge. Air Slash. Oh, who definitely have an edge? Air Slash again.
Come on. No, no dodge. Oh, so close. Oh, go check. Oh, that, that actually did a lot. I'll go do it again. And you're not gonna survive this. Uh, but doof. Oi. Top Badoof can survive a hit from him. Health Rock, not so bad. Bite! Now, okay, so Bite's not doing too well. Bite again! Maybe it was pretty good against it last time. Air flash. Ow! Air voice. That did it. Uh, I'm going to do this. Potion. Nope, nope, nope. Do it. Yeah. Always good for for some reason. Thunderfang! I don't know how... Not that bad. Oh, okay. Didn't it cool? Ember. And we did it. And we throwing it right into its mouth. Yay. New move. Can evolve. Insect plate. Okay, but only certain Pokemon. Well, what happened? Some kind of layer wrote from Clavor's body. As Lord Clavor 
frenzied mind truly been put to put at ease now? Does this confirm that this strange light was to blame for Clavor's unnatural power? Maybe. Well, this is what I think, after all we've seen. We know strange lightning came from out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Glevor and driven him into his frenzy after all. A lightning came from the space-time rift? What if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond the space-time rift? Then the strange lightning, it indeed was a mighty Zeno's power. Then were we, then were we even right to try and intervene? Yes. I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool, outrageous. Congress of Lian, remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. What powers, what powers sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Clover in to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon discriminately? I doubt it. What Aiden accomplishes now, it needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you could, if you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Hmm. Yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming perfectly in incompo in incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take this on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier. And a token of my thanks. What are we getting? Oh. Okay. Thank you. I think I finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky. Though, I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. And it seems we've settled things here, though, so, between you and me. I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Clavor in such a frenzy state. Frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. I'll have to report to Commander Komodo now. Well, let's go do that then. Oh, what's he doing here? I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. That I did. And what do we have here? Is it be? Ah, those are two of the fabled plates of old. Please, let me have a look. Okay. I see. There are some letters carved into them. Let's see, this one says, Where all creation was born. And that is the being's place, place of origin. It seems to be a phrase from a own myth. How did you come across these? Some Pokemon gave them to me. I see, so you were given the plates when you impressed Woodier and Clivor. 
I didn't exactly see that. That is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. You don't see okay now he does. It is my guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across C3. If we were to gather them all in the cipher and scripts on them, we may uh, uncover something absolutely amazing. Mysteries of the past. How they tickle my curiosity. What joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way until next time. Well, okay then. Huh? Well done. I have already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Clifford's frenzy, restored peace of mind to his wee people, and our and our stranger to us, one who fell out. You are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky, yet you served this galaxy team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition, but things are not settled yet. I've received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere. And he's we. So carry on with our your research and survey duties and prove that you, you truly are an asset to us. That is all, you are dismissed. Your fellow survey course members are likely at Waterfall Wallflower. Go ahead and join them. Oh, uh, can do. I'm already there, aren't I? Yep. Benny old chum, the usual order, three servings of potato mochi please. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Oh, villain. Oh, wow. You're gonna see him shaking. Oh, village is... The whole village is gossiping. Oh, but he's not about our young friend here, you know. He's quite... He's got quite some luck to have come back unharmed after facing off against that Clivor. I dare say, Asian as well prepared. And he was a quick study of how Clivor moved in battle. From what I hear, from what I heard, to be fair, he did telegraph what he was about to do, and I was not well prepared. All in all, it was a very good show. A victory well earned. We can feel safer going about our surveys, a survey corps duties now. Thanks to you, thanks to your efforts. Oh, by the way, why not try crafting some of these? I made the recipe based on directions that he gave me. Smoke bombs, cool. Smoke bomb. Lovely. And now that we n need not worry about being mauled by Clivar either, let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon that call City and Fieldlands their home. Okay. Uh, Asian? I've been waiting for you, Asian. My name's Vesa. There is something really important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? Okay. I'm not be about to be mauled by little kids, am I? Well, this is kind of a secret, but... Something terrible has happened. 
Kisu is in a all a all her danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate. But please, Agent, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. Just tell me what to do. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you believe me. I, I just knew you'd be willing to help. This odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. Okay. That looks like Reggie's. That looks like a Reggie head. And by Reggie, I mean like Reggie Stone. Or Reggie. Reggie Rock. That's what it's called. It looks like a Reggie Rock's head. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across Hisui. A hundred and seven of them in total. With the odd stone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. See, the wrists are normally invisible, but not to the holder of the odd keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? See that flame hovering over there? Try touching it. Okay. I have a bad feeling. That she's trying to w awaken whatever this thing is. The wisp has been absorbed into the odd keystone, just as it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever have need help finding the remaining wisp. And one last thing, as you gather more and more wisp, I'll give you some rewards of thanks. I'll wait here for you while you carry out your search. Good luck. Okay. The next day. Are we gonna be? Yeah. Wow, the galaxy. Wow, the galaxy team. Kendrick really is. Dare I say, cutting edge. I think I know who her ancestors. Listen to this. Oh, hey, you're Asian. The boy who called Clifford is Clifford, aren't you? That's me. I knew it. You get quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quelled one of the almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. I'm Arazu, by the way. I'm a warrior of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Really nice to meet you. Okay. Oh snip, but... Oh snip. 
Well, I came here to talk to your Mr. Komodo. See you around. Okay. We'll be spending some time with her. Uh, where'd you guys come from? Ginter. Max revived set for four. I have to think about I actually I do have enough money. Okay. There's so many side quests today. She has a side quest. Uh Yeah, there's like a lot of side quests today. Which I'll probably do in the next video. Or perhaps I'll spend some time with... Darn it, I already forgot her name. We could also spend time with Arazu in the next video. But yeah, I'm just gonna end this video here. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. And if, you ha and if you're new, why not hit that subscribe button. And thank you all for watching, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.